Summary of The Performance Paradox Turning the Power of Mindset into Action by Eduardo Bersigo Written and narrated by Janky Mind Introduction Do you want to have a better career? Do you feel like you are working too hard and not getting anything back? Then you need to read this book. It will show you what is wrong with your work style and how to fix it. Many people think that success comes from hard work, but that is not always true. Sometimes, working hard can make you feel tired and unhappy. This is what we call the performance paradox. It is a problem that affects many workers today. But there is a solution. In this book, we will teach you a new way of working. We will help you learn new things and enjoy your work more. We will show you how to work smarter, not harder. This will make you more productive and fulfilled. This is the secret to a healthy career. Lesson 1. How to learn better at work. Do you want to be better at your job? Do you want to improve your skills and grow as a person? If you do, you need to know about the performance paradox. This is a problem that many people face at work. They think that the only way to succeed is to work hard and fast and to do everything perfectly. But this is not true. Working hard and fast can actually make you worse at your job. It can make you feel stressed, tired, and unhappy. This is the performance paradox. It means that working harder and faster does not make you better. It makes you stuck. So what can you do to avoid the performance paradox? You need to balance performance and learning. Performance is when you do your job well and show your results. Learning is when you try new things, get feedback, and learn from your mistakes. You need both performance and learning to grow and improve. Performance helps you achieve your goals. Learning helps you discover new possibilities. Think of performance and learning as two zones, the performance zone and the learning zone. The performance zone is where you do your best and show your skills. The learning zone is where you challenge yourself and learn new skills. You need to spend time in both zones to break free from the performance paradox. The performance zone helps you do your job well. The learning zone helps you do your job better. This idea of balancing performance and learning is not new. Many successful people use it in different fields. For example, have you seen the movie King Richard? It is about how Venus and Serena Williams became famous tennis players. They did not become champions by playing only matches. They became champions by practicing a lot. They practiced in the learning zone, where they improved their skills. They played in the performance zone, where they showed their skills. Another thing you need to know is how to have a growth mindset. A growth mindset is when you believe that you can learn and grow. Some people have a fixed mindset. They think that they are born with a certain amount of intelligence and talent, and that they cannot change. They are afraid of trying new things and making mistakes. They only want to prove what they already know. A growth mindset is different. It is when you believe that you can change and improve. You are not afraid of trying new things and making mistakes. You want to learn new things and grow. To avoid the performance paradox, you need to have a growth mindset. You need to believe that you can change and improve. Having a growth mindset and balancing performance and learning are very important. They can help you and your organization succeed in a complex and fast-changing world. But there are some rules to follow in the learning zone. Let's use another example from sports. Imagine you want to be a great golfer. You need to play in tournaments and show your skills. That is the performance zone. But you also need to practice a lot and learn new skills. That is the learning zone. But you cannot just hit balls randomly. You need to practice with a purpose. You need to get feedback from coaches, make changes, learn new techniques, and perfect your approach. That is how you learn better in the learning zone. The same rules apply to any job. You need to practice with a purpose in the learning zone. You need to get feedback, make changes, learn new techniques, and perfect your approach. That is how you learn better at work. In the next sections, we will learn more about how to do that. We will learn how to use the best strategies to help you and your organization grow, adapt, and flourish. Lesson 2. How to learn and do at the same time. 
You already learned that there are two ways to do things, the performance zone and the learning zone. Now let's see how we can use both of them together. There is something you need to know. Some people say that the best way to learn something is to do it. But is that really true? Maybe it is better to say that the best way to learn something is to do it and learn from it. That is what happens when we use both the performance zone and the learning zone. We are doing and learning at the same time. This is important because most of us are not like sports stars who can practice for hours with a coach. We have to learn while we work. To do that, we need the right conditions. We need to think about what we did and also try new things, see what happens, and change what we do. Let me give you an example. A long time ago, there was a woman who worked at Starbucks. Her name was Traka. She was also a student, so she was often very tired. She had to work very early in the morning. It was hard to remember all the coffee orders that people shouted at her. So, one day, she asked the people who took the money to write the orders on the cup instead of shouting them. This made a big difference. Traka did not have to worry about forgetting the orders, and her Starbucks was quieter and nicer. But not all the Starbucks did the same thing. Some of them said, we don't do that here. Traka's idea is a good example of using both zones. She wanted to do a good job, but she also wanted to find a better way to do it. And so did the other people who worked with her. They were ready to try new things, see how they worked, talk about them, make them better, and work together to make changes. And then, all the Starbucks started to do what Traka did. This example shows some of the things you can do in the learning zone, like trying small things to learn big things, and working smart not hard. But what is also important is that the people at Traka's Starbucks were open to learning and doing at the same time. Some people are afraid to make mistakes at work, but mistakes are not always bad. Some mistakes are bad mistakes, and they happen when you are not paying attention. Bad performance. But some mistakes are good mistakes, and they show you something that you need to fix. Both kinds of mistakes can help you learn if you have the right attitude and think about how to do better. Making mistakes is part of working, and it can help you grow, create, and succeed. Lesson 3. How we grow. This lesson talks about what makes the best people, teams, and leaders grow. It ends with tips on how to improve yourself. First, for a person to grow, they need five things. Who they are, identity, why they do things, purpose, what they believe, beliefs, their daily actions, habits, and who they spend time with, community. For example, you might be a parent, worker, and artist all at once. It's important to see yourself as someone who keeps learning and changing. Your purpose in life isn't fixed. It's about what you care about right now and how it helps others. These five things are like a wheel that drives growth. Believing you can get better, having good habits like writing a diary, and being around positive people are all key parts. For organizations, growth means being flexible, making an impact, and bouncing back from challenges. They should focus on helping employees learn and grow, not just on their performance. This includes taking chances and valuing trust, teamwork, different ideas, and everyone's input. Leaders in these organizations should support learning and reward growth. They should create a place where everyone feels safe to share ideas and try new things. Leaders should also be learners and show their team how to keep growing in their careers. Lesson 4. How to do more with less. In this last lesson, you will learn how to do your best and make a big difference. You will also learn how to use your time and energy wisely. The first thing you need to do is to be clear about what you want to achieve. Sometimes we spend too much time on small things, and we forget the big things. So start by thinking about your main goals, and then plan how to reach them. Don't waste your effort on things that don't matter. When you focus on the big things, you can see what is working and what is not. You can also find new ways to do things better. There is a group of people who did this very well. They are called Laboratoria, and they are from Peru. They help young women learn how to work in technology. They are always learning and improving themselves. 
When the pandemic happened in 2020, they had a lot of problems, but they also used the time to change their way of working. They started to use Zoom for their meetings, and they realized that it was a good thing. They could reach more women in more places than before. They could help more people and grow more. They did this because they were clear about their goals, and they always looked for ways to improve. You can do amazing things when you use both the performance zone and the learning zone. You can not only grow yourself, but also help others. You can make a positive impact on the world. The world needs people like you who can face the challenges and find the solutions. The world is changing fast, and you need to keep learning to keep up. Learning is the most important skill you can have in this century. Without it, you can't be part of the solution. Final Summary We all want to grow as individuals and as a group. To do that, we need to enter the learning zone. This is where we challenge ourselves, try new things, and learn from our mistakes. But we can't do it alone. We need to work with others who share our vision, trust us, and give us honest feedback. We also need leaders who create a safe and supportive space for us to learn and perform. We need to be clear about what we want to achieve and how we can make a difference in the world. We need to know who we are, what we care about, and how we can do better. The learning zone is not just a place, it's a skill. It helps us deal with the complex and changing world of the 21st century. We have reached the end of this audiobook summary. To read the full book, check out the link in the description. Your purchase will support us to create more summaries for you. This summary was created by Janky Mind, your reliable guide to learning and growth. Please like, comment, and share your insights on the book. Thank you for watching.